Hey guys, I see lots of questions from people that have created custom hooks or are using the use context hook that want to know how they can force a refresh of their data without using things like timers. So I'm going to show you a nice little hack that will allow you to refresh the data of your custom hook on the fly. Before we get started, make sure you smash the thumbs up button and subscribe to this channel if you want to see more tutorials just like this one. So here we have a basic little app um, that follows along the lines of the how to create a use custom hook that I covered in the last video and I'll leave a link to that above in the corner. So our app has a header and it's calling this number which is being pulled through, I'll just remove that for a minute, which is being pulled through from our custom hook use number and the custom hook, I'll just increase the font size, the custom hook use number is simply generating a random number in a use effect. So fairly simple. So when the page loads, let's just hit refresh, we get a random number. Now, obviously if this was uh, a hook calling data from an API, for example, you may well have a timer set in here to check every five, 10, 30 seconds for new data. But sometimes you actually wanna put a refresh button on the screen. And you don't necessarily want to split everything out into separate functions that are passed through. So let's take a look at how we can do that. So the first thing we'll do is we'll create a new item in our state. Oh, we'll create a new item in the state called refresh. And the function to update this stateful item is going to be reload data. So I'm not conforming to the normal rules of saying set refresh just because this reload data function will make more sense in our child components. And we're not going to give it any initial item. So just an empty state with refresh. And we can then go ahead in our custom hook and export the reload data function to our child components. So this function is now exposed. And the final thing we'll do in here is we'll make our use effect dependent on refresh. So any time that refresh changes, it's going to trigger this use effect to run and pull us a new random number. So in the front end, we can simply pull through our reload data function and we can pop a button in here and we'll say button on click reload data generate new number for the text and hit save. And so if we click this generate new number button now, we're gonna get a new number each time. The reason this works is because we're calling the reload data function and we don't have to pass any values through because this is going to trigger refresh to be updated with something that we pass through. Now you could preload this with an empty function and pass through an empty function but you're just going to confuse the code even more. Ultimately, when we call reload data, the hook that we've created, use number, is finding that something's changed and is causing the use effect to re-trigger. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please smash the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel to see more videos like this.